Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and I'm talking about WordPress photo galleries in this video. I recently received a voicemail from someone who was probably watching my video on adding pictures to WordPress that I'll link to here. Here's a short voicemail he left me. Dan, 161711. Uh, it's about loading pictures with WordPress of not having to hit the back button so they can you can scroll through. Thank you. So I think what Dan is looking for is a gallery option in WordPress where you can scroll through the pictures easily. Since I'm sure a lot of people have this question, I wanted to show you some options for getting a photo gallery in WordPress. So a lot of other videos that talk about WordPress galleries on YouTube or other blog posts are going to probably recommend a plugin. And I love WordPress plugins, but I like to keep them to a minimum when possible because plugins introduce complexity to your site. Uh, security issues, the need to update, sometimes they cost money and they can also slow down your site. So I always want to look for maybe a native option in WordPress or something that's already installed with my theme uh, before I look to add a, a bulky plugin. So first of all, one of the issues here is the WordPress gallery that is built in currently is not that great. Um, so I'm looking at the uh, WordPress codex, which is just their, um, their help documents. So I'll link to this page, which describes the current WordPress gallery, uh, how you can add images. And you'll probably find this on some other videos too. Um, but I just want to show you how that functions currently. Um, I have the latest WordPress installed, which is uh, 4.9.7. Uh, it's currently July 2018. I have a feeling they're going to improve this gallery. But the current way that you add a gallery in WordPress is you click Add Media, go to Create Gallery, and then I can just add a couple images here. I'll add three and click Create New Gallery. You can change some options here, which you'll find um, in those directions I just uh, mentioned I would link to. But if I click Insert Gallery, it creates this gallery within this post, and if I preview it, Here's what it looks like, these first three images here. And the problem that was uh, the problem that Dan was describing, I believe, in his voicemail is he probably did this and then realized that when someone clicks on the image, well, first of all, they can view the images here. It's not real easy to change the size of them. They're going to look like this. Uh, when someone clicks on them, it takes them to the image itself. But then you can't really do anything. You can't scroll through the gallery. You can't even click close. So someone would have to click back to get back to your uh, page there and then click on another one. So it's not very easy to use or intuitive. Most people are accustomed to using a gallery like this one, which I'll show you later. But um, if you click on it, there's a close box uh, and then I can scroll through the images here nice and easy. And that's what most people want. That's what most people are used to. This one is running off of my theme, which I'll show you at the end of the video. But I did first want to show you that problem, and the problem is the WordPress uh, built-in gallery is not that great currently. I have a feeling that they will improve it uh, in future updates, uh, maybe 5.0. They'll add uh, the ability to scroll through the images in a gallery. Then you can just continue to use the uh, built-in gallery feature in uh, WordPress. So stay tuned for that on future WordPress updates, and I will have a blog post connected uh, or linked from this video on this topic and I'll keep that updated with the latest uh, WordPress updates um, on the topic of uh, galleries. So there are a number of plugin options like I mentioned so if you search WordPress plugins uh, you'll find a number of plugins that are free and paid. Popular one is called Next Gen Gallery which I've used before myself. Another popular one if you scroll down here is Envira Gallery so on their site they talk about their um, premium gallery plugin. I've used it a little bit myself, but I've heard great things about it. So a lot of premium features and it does cost money. So um, their basic option is $29 and then it goes up to $100 and $300 for agencies who want to use it on multiple sites. I'm not going to show you that plugin in this video because I think there's a few other videos from uh, other YouTube creators that are doing a pretty good job of showing that to you. So I'll just um, give a shout out to them and link to them. One of those videos is by a creator named Jackson who has this video here who sh and it's basically showing you 
the um, Envira Gallery plugin. So it's a pretty in-depth video. I watched most of it myself, uh, six minutes long. It'll show you how to use that plugin. And another one is from WP Beginner, which is a popular uh, WordPress site for beginners. This video I will link to shows you, um, it's another video showing you how to um, use image gallery. I think it shows you the native image gallery in WordPress. And then I believe they also talk about the um, Envira gallery in here too. So check those videos out. I will link to them um, below my video. But again, before you add a bulky plugin to your website, uh, check with the current version of WordPress, see if they um, provide a gallery feature that works for you. Uh, currently, there is a plugin called Gallery Slideshow. That's a free plugin that will actually just turn your uh, native WordPress gallery into a slideshow. So they have an example here, and it just shows you with these short codes, you can create a gallery like I showed you in WordPress, but you can change how it looks. It'll look like this, so just a little bit easier to use. Um, has a, you know, arrows to scroll through, and then larger images. So I know there's other plugins like this, but check out this one, Gallery Slideshow, and others like it that will turn your native WordPress gallery into a slideshow. And then my last suggestion before you install a bulky plugin would be to investigate your theme and your framework to see if they might provide some kind of gallery feature that you can use and it's already built in or it's already installed. So if you're not sure which theme or framework you have, you can obviously go to the WordPress dashboard, um, go to appearance and themes to, to uh, find what theme you're using. Um, check out my frameworks video. A lot of WordPress beginners um, and even advanced users don't really understand frameworks or what they are, but they're pretty important in building your website. So I'll link to that video on frameworks. But a lot of premium themes and then page builders like Visual Composer that I talk about in that video uh, are going to have some kind of gallery feature built in. So before you install that plugin, make sure uh, or just go and check to see if you already have a um, gallery feature built into your site. So back on my site, I'm using Divi theme from Elegant Themes, and I'll link to another video showing some of the reasons that I love the Divi theme, and I build a lot of sites with it. But on that page I was showing you the example of the uh, image galleries, the second gallery here is using the built-in Divi gallery. So if I click on it, I can again, I can close and scroll through the images, and then it has some features with captions and um, the ability to change what happens when you roll over an image. So again, this is using the Divi theme and the Divi builder, which uh, is shown here. So here's what a gallery module looks like. I just simply added this. And then here are some of the things you could change in the uh, settings for the gallery module, like the showing title and caption. And then under design, I can change it from a grid layout to a slider layout. And then I can change some of the colors of that overlay in the icon. Can add uh, co rounded corners, borders. So there's a lot you can do with the gallery here. And this is already built into my theme. So maybe you're using Divi theme or maybe you want to. So definitely check out the video. And I'll also link to the Elegant Themes website where you can pick up the Divi theme. Uh, it has a lot of other great features. But um, in this case, you won't need to install or purchase a gallery plugin because it'll already be built into your theme. So I hope this video in this overview of WordPress galleries and all the options that are available are going to help people like Dan who left that voicemail and anyone else who's researching this topic. So check out those links to help you figure out which of these options is going to be right for you. Feel free to ask questions in the comments if you have any and then like the video if you find it useful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and we'll see you on the next one.